guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. So, for this week, I guess, and probably some of next week as well, what we are doing is we're showing the new Unified Minds uh, set off, but we're also using the world's rotation or the rotation for next year. Now, unfortunately, with BTCGO, you actually can't do this just yet. So what I did is read out to my good friend Jeff. Uh, I posted, made a post saying, hey, does anybody want to make a YouTube videos? And Jeff from the Super Broadcast was like, hey, I'm down. Uh, so thank you, Jeff Saran, for doing these. I'll leave a link down below on every single video to his Twitter and uh, and also the Super Broadcast Twitter as well. You can go follow them, uh, get all the updates. Also, he is going to be doing regionals commentary. Uh, we saw him do it a couple last year, and more information will be posted on his Twitter coming up throughout the upcoming year. Uh, so, And also, what I've done this week as well is we've chosen five different decks. I have five decks. Jeff has five decks. And what it is, and every time a deck loses, that deck is out. Uh, so we get all these different matches, all these different things. But what we did the first five matches is we all played the decks, right? We, we showed all five of our decks off versus five of his. And so at the end, uh, the first five rounds, we have three and two decks left. And then we'll continue playing. And then the first one, the last um, deck is the winner. And I guess that deck is overall the best, right? And not really. But, you know, it's testing. We're having fun. And it's really hard to test Unified Minds pro post rotation on PTCGO because it doesn't exist just yet. And so what I've done this week is I've I've been watching a lot of YouTubers and uh, keeping up on the social media. And what I've done is I've used other people's lists that have already come out that they have tested with. Uh, so like in this case, this one's actually Andrew Mahone's or uh, Tricky Jam, as a lot of people call it. And it is his, uh, I guess, the match he played against JW Crewall, uh, where he plays the best decks in format. So I think he plays against uh, Basufleon. I'll leave a link to that video as, as, as well down below. He's done a lot of videos. Uh, so it'll be stuff like that. Now the only thing different between his list and my list is I cut down to the Zapdos and put a second or low limit Raichu. I like that a lot better uh, than the Zapdos. I'm not really a really big fan of Zapdos. I mean, don't get me wrong, a non-GX guy doing, you know, 80 every single turn is pretty good. And what we're going to do as well is kind of cover the new mechanics, right? We know what, you know, this Pika Box deck does, or whatever you want to call it, right? Pika Rom, whatever. I call it Pika Box um, deck does. So what we're going to do is cover the new stuff and kind of the new mechanics because there's a lot of rotated stuff. There's no more Guzma. There's no more Ultra Ball. So these decks function very differently now than what they have before. Now on this list, Mahomes' list is actually very, very fast, right? We're playing three to Denny's, uh, whereas most of the time you're just playing one. So we're playing the three to Denny's. We're trying to use data, data change, getting powered up Pokemon ASAP. We still got the Coco with the Dance the Agents and the, P the Pikachu.com for the full blitz. Get your energies out there. Tag Bolt. You know, a 200, 170 to a bench. You know, the the Mew still does exist. And Zero Ore is for the Fruit Tree and as well for the Plasma Fist, which is a very good attack that we see a lot uh, in the upcoming video. But um, the new guy is going to be the Raichu and Alola Raichu GX. And it has the attack Tandem Shock. It does 80. And this Pokemon's on your bench and making him active this turn. This attack does 80 more damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So. You know, in the new format, like I said, there's no more Guzma, so the only real way to switch is, you know, going to be Switch. I think Escape Rope is gone as well. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so, the paralyzation is very, very nice. I like it a lot. It's really cool. Um, but, remember, it has to come from the bench to the active, so that we're playing, that's why we're playing Donwings and Necrozma GX. For that invasion, if this Pokemon's in your bench, you can kind of just switch with your active and then retreat, and you have free retreat once again because of the Zero or Thundercop Zone. If it has a lightning to it, it has no retreat cost. You put a lightning energy on the Necrozma, uh, Invasion Retreat, continue the Tandem Shock, and also you have a Lightning Ride GX. It has 150, and you switch the Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If this Pokemon has at least two extra energies to it, um, or two lightning energies to it, uh, this attack does 100 more damage, so 250. And of course, with the Electro Powers, uh, you can boost that damage up by a ton. And just pretty much one shot any kind of tag team in the format, making this deck pretty powerful and very, very fast. Like, three energies is not hard, you know? Three energies is not hard. You're doing a ton of damage for three energies. Thanks for Tabu Coco. Thanks to, like, Energy Switch and a new card as well, and that is the Tag Switch. Move up the two energy from one of your tag team Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. So, you gotta just tag team, move two energy from one Pokemon to another. That is a, uh, you can move off a of tag team to whatever Pokemon you want to. So one thing that's really cool is you can go with like the, the Pikachu.com, use full, tag bolt, or use full blitz, put 150 in the three energies on a, on a bench Pokemon if you want to, 
and then you can retreat it. Use tax switch, move those two energies off the damage guy to the active. Because remember, there's no more Guzma. There is other cards to get Pokemon up, but it's kind of more complicated now, and the format becomes really different. So that's all the Pokemon we're going to use here. Like I said, other cards you can use is going to be Zapdos. That's pretty much the only one that really makes a difference in this deck. Uh, three Acrobike, look at top two, discard one, put one in your hand. And the card we're using now to kind of like bring Pokemon up is going to be Custom Catcher. If you play two of them, you can switch one of your opponent's bitch Pokemon with your active. Now remember, you have to play two of them. So if you use like just the one to draw, you have three cards in your hand, which is still very good because, you know, you can put your hand down to very low hand size, whatever. Um, if you use one of these, you can essentially only use the double custom catcher one time. So the format is going to, like you see, it's going to obviously change a lot now um, because there's really no way to bring Pokemon on the bench to the active. We have four electromagnetic Man radars that search for a GX and EX lightning Pokemon. Very nice. Most all of our Pokemon are lightning GX EX, except for the Topic Coco and the Don Wings and Necrozma, but we do have communication for that. And uh, you can also just draw into them. Four electric power for maximum damage. One fidget spinner uh, or energy spinner. <laughs> Still think it's a finished fidget spinner. I think Mahone also calls it a fidget spinner. But if you go second, it's your first turn. You can search for three energies and uh, kind of just get a bunch of energies on the field. Energy switch to move energies around. Very nice. Um, like I said, you can if a Pokemon gets hurt, you can just retreat. Energy switch around. Very nice. Uh, four order pad, or as Mahone says, order up. And when he plays it, uh, just for consistency, if you flip the heads, you're most likely going to be doing whatever you want to do that turn. Uh, one license or labs now this will shut down the skateboards but the other big card that will shut down is going to be the spell tags that we see a lot in this format now uh thunder mountain making we need one less lightning energy so of course it makes stuff like your little right you only need what four energies four lightnings to do that 250 damage the picarom only needs five energies on it with the thunder mountain so very cool and our only supporter cards are going to be four cynthia and four lily and that's it with 11 lightning energy like I said, Mahone's list will be down below, but we also have Jeff's list as well. Jeff has shared all of his lists that he plays with us. So you'll get two lists every day, um, and then you'll see the decks kind of fight each other and to see how it kind of balanced out. But give me one second, we'll see Jeff's list. Alrighty, so on Jeff's side, he's actually playing the Giratina Malamar for today. Now, these decks were chosen at random. We did not know what decks each other was playing at first. And so Jeff is playing the Malamar. It's pretty much stayed almost the same. It's just very consistent. Uh, like I said, there's no more Ultra Balls, but there is a new guy on this field, and that's going to be the Espeon and Deoxys GX. And this is really good because, like I said, there's really no way to bring Pokemon off the bench to the active. But that Cross Division GX has put 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. If this Pokemon has at least 3 extra energy attached to it, in addition to this tax costs, put 20 damage counters on them instead. So either way, you need to put up to 100 damage on your opponent's side of the field, or 200 damage if you have 6 energies on this guy. And this would be very nice to help clean up those knockouts. Giratina only is 130, but with the inclusion of the like Distortion Door, put damage on your bench Pokemon, you have cards like Spell Tag, put 4 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon, or put 4 damage counters on your opponent's side of the field when a Pokemon is knocked out. So that can definitely help to manipulate the math. Uh, you have cards like Mew, which is very nice. You have that Psy Power and the Bitch Barrier. Psy, Psy Power, once again, puts the damage current opponents any way you like. And the Bitch Barrier can help you against the stuff like Picarom, which is going to be pretty much everywhere. Picarom is best like, is, is been known as the best deck of format. And he actually played a Mimikyu for that copycat. Uh, so Giratina is just really strong, right? You have this 130, one, does 130 damage, uh, non-GX-EX. It's two-shotting most of your GX Pokemon in, in the field. And if they do decide to retreat and it gets stuck in the bench, uh, you can use the Espeon of Deoxys, which is that cross division GX, to kind of punish your opponent on the uh, while they have on the bench. Uh, Jeff is playing two Acrobike. He's playing the four custom catchers. Like I said, a lot of lists are going to be playing this. It's just trying to take the advantage of uh, just trying to knock out a Pokemon. But it does make your deck kind of clunky because now you have these four custom catchers. And if you can't use both of them, then you're kind of a weird situation. Another good thing with Psychic. Even though we've lost our Ultra Balls, we still have four Mysterious Treasure in the four communication. The communication is going to be very nice to find out that Jirachi, but everything is searchable with these four Mysterious Treasure. Uh, we see a new card we haven't seen just yet. Uh, I don't play a lot in my list, but uh, in, over these five days, or these five first videos. Uh, reset Stamp, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draw a card for each of the remaining prize cards. Now this is really good. It's basically like an end, but just for your opponent's side, so if your opponent goes down to one card, you can reset them step to one, and that's very nice because you only play Giratina, and if you can reset step them at the right time, you can put it down to one card and then maybe swing with the Espeon Deoxys with 260 HP, and maybe kind of just win the game from there. 
to switch stealth, uh, kind of switch on your draw to use attack different Pokemon. Uh, you need to use the Stellar Wish ASAP, so the two switch and also the two escape board is very, very good. Uh, two Viridian Force, we know this card does, but we have a golden version of it now. We have four Cynthia, four Lily, that's going to be pretty much a staple on all decks, but we see Jeff is playing two Erica's Hospitality. You only play this card, you have four more cards left in your deck, or left in your hand, sorry, not your deck. Uh, search, draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. So if your opponent has six Pokemon, you have three cards in, you can drop to nine, you drop six, we have nine cards. You have two Escape Wars for that free retreat, or one less retreat, and you can retreat if it's paralyzed or asleep, which is very good, um, mainly because of sleep, because Strachi just put itself to sleep. But the two seems kind of sketchy, but you do have two switch, so I guess it kind of uh, goes out, you know, I guess it can work out. Uh, Forest Spell Tag, like I said, if your gear team is getting knocked out, and there's no fi there's no tool card remover except for Faba in this format that I can think of off the top of my head. And eight Psych Energy. So there we go, there's Jeff list, we saw the Picarom list, so now we're going to see a best two out of three to see which deck advances to the next round. Alright guys. Alrighty guys, so here we go, game number one. Like I said, we're going to start off with Picarom, or I guess... Um, if you really want to, I mean, I don't know how the intro is going to work. I'm going to be honest. But this is day number one playing against Jeff Saran. Uh, let's see what happens. And he is playing a Psychic and Steel deck. So, like I said before, I'm new to Picarom. Uh, random number generator. Might as well just get out of the way. I think that's how we're going to do all these. We're just going to do random number generator. And just whatever deck we land on, we land on it. So, start with Zero Aura. Now, this is, like I said, Andrew Mahone's list. Uh, so, shout out to him for posting this. All right, so we're pressed done. We got the Lysander Labs. We could shut down his uh, his escape boards. It is a Malamar deck. I wonder what kind of Malamar it is. It's always the big question, right? I mean, I know you could tell right now, but I, we don't have each other's list starting off, obviously, in this gauntlet kind of challenge. But uh, so we see Mysterious Treasure discard the Lily. It means he has more supporter cards in his hand. There is another N an NK coming down. Okay, NK coming down the line. There's an escape. Skateboard Lily for five. I'm gonna start building up some armies of these NKs, would be very nice. Uh, there's Mysterious Treasure as well coming down onto the field. And let's see if he probably gets another NK. I imagine just kind of switch, not too bad. Um, <clears throat> I mean, he probably plays like three or four. I've seen multiple lists, and there's the view coming down with that bench barrier, make it where you know. Hey, Picarom, you can't really use your thing. Spell tag to the Mew as well. All right. And uh, we just see a pass, so nothing too crazy. And uh, our hand is terrible. Could we possibly get knocked out? Uh, yeah, I mean, depending on what he's playing, right? I mean, anything's possible. We could put down the Lysander Labs, make it where he can't retreat. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. Make it a little harder for him to retreat. And right now, we'll just press... <clears throat> we'll just press done. Can't really do anything else. Um, just kind of sitting here. Oh, well. I mean, we got bumped. <clears throat> but the good thing is we can thin our hand down. That is the trick. We can, you know, put our hand, uh, or not our hand, our deck, uh, get more, another energy out of there. What's up, everybody? Get to go that here. way. Let's see if we can find any Pokemon. There's a Verde Force getting... <clears throat> oh, discarding the Giratina. Uh, so if he gets double Malamar, he can... Uh, nope, just retreat. Psychic in it. Spell tag, <laughs> and a hypnosis coming down. All right, so we're both doing very well, showing the uh, the new post rotation, how good it is. All right, so heads, we wake up, bounce our turn, and okay, so we're ready for us a lightning, for a lightning, then the deck down. I guess I could have checked to see what was in the deck. I saw the Donald's Necrozma, so that's good. All right, so pass the entire opponent's turn. We are doing very, very good here. <laughs> This is always great when both players are just drawn fantastic. We see another Viridian Force coming down from Jeff. Uh, going to get a Psychic Energy. Uh, he could just be thinning his deck down. Uh, I mean, it's always nice to have Psychic in this card pile, right? I wonder why he did Distortion Door last time to start adding. Uh, maybe because he can't put it on the bench. I don't know. But now he's got two spell tags. Um, if he's got one for the Giratina, that'd be very surprising. But if he sends the Giratina, we can knock it out. But if he swings and then we knock it out, he can easily get another one powered up because he needs double Malamar as of right now. So he discards a Jirachi with that. So it looks like he's playing maybe just a straight kind of psychic build. There we see Jirachi come up. I mean, we can actually knock this out with uh, Plasma Fist. So that'd be pretty nice. Go ahead and just take a knockout. And there's a Cynthia going to his hand. Okay. 
Let's see what else he's got here. So communication. Uh, okay, probably going to find a Malamar. But if he doesn't have a switch, he can't attack this turn. Um, that is a big thing there. So there we see the Malamar coming down. He's already discarded one. Uh, so I don't know how many his list is playing. So we see the Slack Energy going to the Giratina. Does he have another Malamar? Nope. Looks like he doesn't have anything. It will be able to get a knockout here. Finally hitting the electromagnetic magnetic radar. So we can go electromagnetic radar, discard a lightning, a lightning. So this is where like it kind of comes down to how do we want to do this, right? Hmm. Okay. So we don't have the Zapdos. Um, we could go Alolan Raichu. And the Dini. I think that'd be the better of the two plays. So we'll put a lightning here. We'll go Electro Madden Radar, doesn't really matter. We'll put the Lolan Raichu down and we'll the Dini. Yeah, I think this is better. I mean this guy has a lot more HP, so I think that's fine. We'll go Picarom. Do we put down the Picarom or not? It would be nice to switch between them. Uh, this only gets GX and EX. But we can still, like, I don't want to discard all my energies. That's what I'm scared of. So I'm just going to Viridian Force the Electromagnet and Radar. Okay. I'm not going to grab anything. And then I'm going to Lily for three. Of course, I got a communication with nothing to use it with. All right, so we'll Plasmus. He can't take a knockout this turn, so that's very nice. So one thing we could do is maybe get that little Raichu online somehow. Uh, ooh, so that's actually really nice. Thunder Mountain will help us do that. We can start using Tandem Shrog, uh, do 160 damage, start knocking on these Giratinas, and then if we can find, um, I don't know, whatever we want to, we can be good to go there. Hmm... Yeah, I think the Lolan Raichu is definitely the best way to go. Um, it just gives us more damage, I think. Yeah, like I said, I'm new, I'm new to this matchup. But the good thing is he has double um, sp spell attacks, right? So we do know he plays Deoxys. There's an NK coming down. So we got to keep knocking out these Giratinas over and over again. There's an NK coming down. Okay. I guess the best thing about this matchup right now, like I said, is he got double uh, spell attacks on those guys. So um, Mysterious Shadow just got a Psychic. There's another Malamar. So he's got two Malamars. He'll be rock and rolling. He has to retreat first. Uh, there we go. All right. I was making sure he, he does kind of the order of operation correct. Uh, I was like, man, if he evolves, and then uh, uh, then he won't be able to retreat. So <clears throat> we'll see the Shadow Impact coming down. We'll be able to switch into a Alolan Raichu and uh, swing this turn. That'd be very nice. And then maybe next time we can retreat. Simba so Pikachu Zekrom. It kind of just cycle between them. I guess that's the right way to do it. Uh, like I said, the biggest thing here is my opponent has his spell tags on a Mew and a Malamar. And that is definitely going to help us out a lot. And there we go. Just going to see 130 damage. Going to put four. Probably on himself. Um, it's getting knocked out. Um, well, maybe he puts it somewhere else because, yeah, I'm going to put them on the Malamar already. All right. So on our turn, we get an Acrobike. So we can go uh, Lightning. Let's go Acrobike. Grab the Dawn Wings. We'll put down the Dawn Wings. We will energy switch from the bench. Oh, we could uh, uh, we could have grabbed what is it? We could have grabbed Top of Coco, and uh, but that's it's fine. It's whatever. We'll put down Thunder Mountain, and then we'll Cynthia for new hand of six. Yeah, that seems good. Seems fine. We got the top of Coco as well. So we can go uh, top of Coco, go Dance of the Agents, put one here, put one here. Okay. Press done. We can retreat into the uh, Lolan Raichu Raichu and get the Tandem Shock. There we go. Taking a knockout, doing 160, go down to four price cards. And we really do have a lot of pressure with this Raichu, but remember, he has a lot of pressure as well on his guys. So one thing we could do, if we get the order pad he heads, we could try to knock out a Malamar um, and then attack with Pika 
Chew, maybe? I don't know. Another Giratina coming down. He needs a Psychic Energy. There's a Lily. Gonna find some stuff. So, uh, hmm. How do we want to go about this, guys? Huh. So, let's see. Obviously, it'd be nice to knock on a Malamar, of course. Um, the good thing about the Giratini, he has a three shot. Oh, no, he has a two shot. That's never mind. And 130 times two is 260. Yeah, how does. Uh, definitely seems an uphill battle for Picarom versus Malamar. Now, the good thing is we can't just switch into different tag teams, like go into the uh, Picarom and go full Blitz. Uh, that'd be very nice. The thing is, we can't go for Tag Bolt GX, which is definitely what this deck kind of like thrives on, right? So there's a lightning energy there, or not a lightning, a psychic energy. We'll see another psychic energy. And he'll be able to constantly be able to do this, like, distortion door, um, kind of wombo combo kind of thing, right? So we see another psychic energy on that guy. We see a spell tag as well. Great. Uh, that's not something we want to see. And it goes for hypnosis, actually. Okay. Tail. So he didn't have an energy in his hand. Wow. Okay, um, not going very hot for Jeff for sure. Uh, so we got the, the, the invasion, very good. Um, you know what? I think we go for the order pad. Heads. All right, good. Um, we'll go for the custom catcher. We'll double custom bring up a Malamar and try to slow him down. We could double custom bring up the Mew, take a knockout. And then, yeah, the spell tag hits us, but then we can take a double knockout going out of two price. Oh, I think that actually might be a better play. So let's go for the, yeah, let's go for the double custom on the Mew. Let's retreat and go for the tandem shock. Dude, 160, taking a knockout, going out of three price cards. Yes, the spell tag does activate, but um, we'll be able to attack with. Uh, ooh, we might not have enough to do full blitz. Okay. Let's go down to three. He can't knock this out immediately. What do we play super scoop up? That'd be busted. Yeah, I think we, we, we might be able to get a knockout, actually, with the Pika Rom. <clears throat> Eric Hospitality for five. Okay. Yeah, because we only need five energies. One, two, three. Maybe we go for order pad, hit heads, and we get the tag switch. Well, this guy's almost knocked out. He's not knocked out just yet. We could get the energies off of him uh, before he gets KO'd. That'd be really cool. He can't take a knockout on him just yet. But when Giratina comes up, uh, he will be able to do that for sure. But what if we get... What if... Just hear me out. What if we get another double custom... And we knock out both Malamars. That would be insane. We'll have to see here what we decide to do. Because we do have um, another Dedenny in the deck. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, maybe that's what we go for. We go for the double knockout. Uh, there we see the Giratina. Uh, some more pressure coming out. But yeah, if we can get another double, knock out both Malamars with the Tag Bolt GX... That would be insane. Uh, also, Jeff hasn't found a way to bump this Thunder Mountain, which is helping me out a lot this game. I watch him do it right now, and I just cry. <laughs> Let's see. What else does he have here? There we go. Shadow Impact. Uh, dude, 130. Okay. 40 to that guy. On our turn. Okay. So we'll go for... Let's go for Order Pad. Heads, wow. Okay, so we do have the double in there. Um, we'll grab the tag switch. Okay. We will retreat into this guy. Tag switch. One and two. <clears throat> Put them on the active. One, two, three. We'll go... One to here. One from here to here. We'll go um electromagnetic radar getting one and two. <coughs> we'll 
we'll get a uh, Lolan Raichu and a Dedenny. So yeah, if we hit the double custom this turn, that'd be broken. That'd be, yeah, yeah, that'd be super broken. So we'll get these two. Okay. We'll go for Dedenny. Yep. All right, so we can go, what do we attach these lightnings to? We could just start powering up the um, the Raichu again because it's up to, yeah, at least three extra energy, one, two, three, four, five, then Thunder Mountain. So we're going to go there. Uh, we'll put a lightning on the Alola Raichu. We'll go for the energy spinner. We're just trying to play as many cards as we can. Uh, we'll go for the Electro Power. And we'll go for Synth to get a new hand of six. All right, it's up to this order pad. We've been two for two. Can we go for three? Oh, no, the one order pad when we need it. No. All right, so I guess we'll still go for Tag Bolt GX. Uh, we'll knock out the Malamar with the escape board. We still got out of one prize card, so we'll see here. He will be able to knock out this guy. Uh, man, I'm scared that he can knock out this guy, this guy, and get a Deoxys and uh, take the game. Maybe. I don't know how this kind of... I don't I don't, obviously, I don't know how this matchup kind of goes, right? Like, that, that's the key thing here. I don't know how this goes. But we shall see. Um, we also can probably get ourselves, you know, another Zero Aura. So we're going to go down to one price card. There's the order pad. Man, if we would have flipped heads, took a double knockout on both Malamars, that would have been sick. Uh, the Malamar with the spill tag actually comes up. Very interesting, okay? Maybe there's something I don't for C here. Hmm. There's a mimic you coming down. Oh great. Okay. <laughs> I'm making sure you can't copy Tag Bolt GX. Uh, <laughs> what if he just pulls out a Tag Bolt GX? Boom boom and just like blows up this guy on the bench. Uh but still he's gonna take four price cards this turn. I don't think that is um feasible. I'm just gonna let you know. I do not think that that can happen right now. Uh unless the crazy happens. That's all I can say. Okay, so we see uh, the Malmar. Sorry, he just asked me is best of three with each deck or best of one. It is best of three. We are playing it like we're in the World Championship right now, Jeff. Mysterious Treasure. Okay. Let's see. He doesn't find anything. There's an escape board. Go into the Mimikyu. I wonder what he's doing. So he's got the double custom. Bring up the Dawn Wings. Okay, Erica's Hospitality, drawn five. I guess maybe, maybe he's hoping we don't have a way to retreat this guy. <clears throat> Reset step to one. <clears throat> Very nice. Electro Magnet Radar, okay. Let's see, so the Reset Stamp putting us down to one. I mean, we do have some outs. Uh, there's a Verde Force. Uh, that's actually game. Right? Unless he puts us asleep. Uh, yeah, because we just discard the electromagnetic, we attach a lightning, retreat, full blitz, that's game. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why the Viridian Force would come down right now. Unless I'm missing something. Um, we'll see what Jeff decides to do here. You'll be able to Viridian Force the electromagnetic radar, find a lightning, uh, attach, retreat, and then, uh, we got game. Just typing right now. Let's see here. Let's see what he says. He said misplay GG going first. Okay, so he said he misplayed. Uh, like I said, I think the Viridian Force was definitely the uh, the thing at the end. But even then, like, he has to take four price cards, so we can take one. Um, so we'll go to game number two. Let's send another challenge. Alrighty. And obviously, you can uh, kind of see what decks we're playing this week. Uh, I'm not going to go into them uh, too much, but if you saw them, you saw them. So on to game number two, he's going first, and we'll see what happens. All right, so let's see. Uh, Jeff is going to call the coin flip. Uh, a lost coin flip. So he gets called the, the coin flip no matter what. So on to our opponent's turn. Uh, I wonder how this like this matchup kind of goes if we do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> huh. Okay. How do we want to tackle this? I mean, it's not terrible. It is not terrible at all. Could be a lot worse. It can always be a lot worse, Josh. So mysterious treasure, okay. Like if we get the turn, the turn one, like 
So we get the electromagnetic radar. We can discard both of these. Um, we just gotta hope. I don't know. Even at the Dini's price, we can just order pad. Right? So, NK coming down. Uh, Jirachi. Lily. Okay. We'd also go for Static Shock in this knockout. Oh, no. That is a knockout. out. No, that's unfortunate. We could not. Nope, team Return DX. Uh, we're definitely not Team Return D GX. That seems uh, insane right now. We definitely don't want to do that. Okay. So, Stellar Wishing. Wish Upon a Star. Wondering where you are. Okay. So, it's a Viridian Force. That will be very nice if he does put that down for us. And uh, it doesn't look like he's going to commit it right now. And just else for sleep. Okay. So on our turn, we will go for okay. There's an acro bike, so let's acro first. We find a lily. Okay, let's grab the lily. Let's go order pad. Heads. I kind of want to go for the double custom. Bring up the NK. Make it where he can't really attack us. We got the Coco. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go for the double custom. Bring up this guy. <laughs> let's go electromagnetic radar, discarding one and two. We'll grab... Oh, man. It's always tough, right? This guy's a one or two cost. Okay, so I'm not too worried about that. We can go... Go to the right shoe. And grab a Dedini. Yep, seems fine to me. We'll put down uh, a Lolan Raichu. We'll order pad. Tails. Lily for seven. <clears throat> we got the top of Coco. Lightning attachment. Zara Aura. Um, Acrobike. Oh, goodness. Um, do we go for the second Zero Aura? Either way, it's bad. I'm going to go for second Zero Aura. Shuffle that back into our deck. So we go Communication, Zero Aura. We can grab the Dawn Wings. Okay. We'll go Dance of the Agents. Put one here, one here. Boop and boop. All right, press done. We'll go for uh, Dawn Wings, Electro Power, the Dini GX. Yep. And let's see, do we find an energy switch? And something. Okay. So, huh. Order pad? Tails. Do we go crazy and try to take a knockout here? Hmm. You know, if we find ourselves, oh my goodness, I, <laughs> oh goodness, oh, right. okay, here we go, okay, no, we don't have a turn one, oh well, uh, yep, okay, I was obviously hoping to find an energy switch, an energy switch from the bench there or to the bench, uh, the active Dini, we could have static shot for the knockout, uh, but that didn't work out. The only problem here is we have three Dannys, and uh, I forgot. I, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be honest. I forgot uh, they get these data chains once a turn. Like I was like, oh, we can data change, and uh, just kidding. It's not like Shabe, Josh. Obviously, you can tell I don't play. I haven't used a Denny a lot. It's a learning curve. We're here. Jeff made a mistake game one. I made a mistake game two. Man, that would be nice to knock on the NK turn one though. Okay, okay. Now, he still can't attack this turn. Um, he can Distortion Door, uh, get some damage on the, like, maybe you go on the, I don't know who you actually put the damage on, I'll be honest with you. Double Dedenius. All right. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems fair, right? You can use Espeon, Deoxys, Tag Team any moment. Uh, go about it that way. There's a little Psychic going to the Giratina. Okay. Stella Wishing. All right. Let's see. Yeah, man, I heard. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, it's Erica's. Yeah, I should have just held the Denny, the Denny Josh. Alright. Either way, we're going to get the first knockout and the first real pressure. Um, so, we'll go Ready Force. A spinner. We get a lightning. 
we will... Man, I really don't want to, like, discard all these energies. So go Lily. Okay, we can go energy. We can retreat from here to here. We can go energy switch from this guy to this guy. <clears throat> and then we can go for tandem shock for 160. All right, so there we go. But th the bad thing is my, my hand, my, like, field is terrible with three Dedenis on it. Okay, so we got the, the lightning for the Dawn Wings, so we can, you know, um, invasion retreat. I, I want to save Russian, I'm not going to lie to you. <clears throat> Alright, there is a second battle rock on the line. So if he finds an escape board, he can't attack this turn. That would be really good for him. Yeah, the downside is we don't have a peak ROM out this game. Uh, another end key coming out for Jeff, okay. Uh, spell tag to the Garatina. Um, it looks like he's going to have a far better game for sure. So one thing we could do this turn is attack with the Zero Aura. Um, wait, no. Move up to two energy if one of your attack team to okay, yeah. So we can attach, invasion, retreat, move two to this guy, or to the Zero Aura, take a knockout, and that way he doesn't like threaten a knockout own my uh you know my good old right you right you. So there's Shadow Impact. Doing 130 damage. Okay. So 40 to the Mimikyu. So on our turn, yeah, I think we go, like I said, we go here. We invasion. Make sure I read the attack switch. Right? Move two energy from one of your attack team to another of your Pokemon. So retreat to here. Tag. One and two. Done. Move to this guy. <laughs> We will electromagnetic radar, discarding electromagnetic and a lightning. We're gonna grab nothing right now, and then we're gonna lily. Okay, so we'll go for the plasma fist for the knockout. It will activate spell attack. I mean, there's really no way around that, unfortunately. Man, if I was the knockout turn one on the NK, we would be in a different ball game, unfortunately. Um, so can we attack next turn? Yeah, we got, we, we can attack with the Pika Rob next turn, uh, which would be really nice. We got four price cards. There's a lightning. We can go for um, Pika Rom, lightning, order pad, Thunder Mountain, knockout, if we get lucky, right? Fingers crossed. So there's Distortion Door. He can't take a knockout straight away with this guy, so that's good. Uh, but what I'm scared of is that Deoxys coming down. That Deoxys and that GX attack is very, very deadly, right? I, and that is what I'm scared of. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. So, it's like there. It's like a recharge, okay? He also can just use uh, Plasma Fist right now if he wanted to. And take a knockout. If he's got the energy attachment for turn. Right? I don't think he's attached energy. If he has attached energy, that seems like a really good play. Just Psychic. Copycat, 160, boom, knockout. All right, got out of four price cards. Uh, it looks like we're not going to see that, though. Spell attack again to the Giratina, of course. Uh, Acrobike, okay. So, yeah, Jeff's got, oh, man, he's playing, like, the super consistent Malamar. Like, hey, you know, there's a reason why this is, like, one of the best decks. This is basically, like, two of the biggest hitters, like, going at each other right now. So, 40 to the Mew on our turn. Okay, so the problem is, <laughs> he didn't knock out my, uh... My Zero Aura, and now if we take a knockout, he will knock us back out. Uh, huh, interesting. So, like, in this terrible situation right now, like, I have no idea what to do. I'm gonna be honest. Because if we swing a Zero Aura, I'll take a knockout. If I don't swing, well, he still just takes a knockout. Um, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know how to uh, tackle this situation, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I think the, the ideal is just to, like, invasion, retreat, attack with well we need a tad for turn yep that's right Jeff you could have copycat for jail for KO'd you could have <laughs> oh goodness okay but still my hand is uh, terrible it is uh, terrible though huh uh, I guess I'm gonna just touch a lightning to this guy uh yeah we, I mean there's no way around it we just gotta take a punch to the face and see how this goes 
Obviously, his spell tag is going to put some damage on this guy. And it depends where he puts his rest of the damage, right? So this guy's weak to dark. We could set up the Dawn Wings, but let's see. Okay, put in 20. Okay, that's makes me a little... Oh, man. I can't set up into Danny because they just gets knocked out. Right, center the Dawn Wings. It can survive a hit from the copycat. Okay. Yeah, I think we set up Dawn Wings and uh, just hope for the best. I mean, we do have... Yeah, the, the game plan is to order path. So communication, like I said, what I'm scared of is a as a Deoxys. Like I'm, I'm just gonna be perfectly honest. Um, that will clean us. So Malamar coming down, okay. We see Malamar on the NK. Well, let's see what up Jess has for us. What else does Jeff have for us? Um. So I got the distortion door. Man, he can just keep piling damage on these on these Dedinis. Okay, so one there, one there. Okay. I don't know the math behind it, obviously. Um there's a psychic energy. He's got the triple uh psychic recharge right now, so he can just keep pounding these little Garetnias over and over again. Um yeah, I mean I guess the man, this Mew, the Mew wasn't here. <laughs> the Mew was not here, it'd be okay. Right? Okay, so uh Man. Oh my goodness, Josh. We have an issue that I just realized. Um, we can't retreat the Don Wings. Like, it looks like we have to go to Zero or attach a lightning, order pad, cross our fingers, find the energy switch, energy switch, and then go about it that way. And he's got the skateboard. That's sick. Okay, that's troublesome. Does he have another one? It does not. Okay, good. He does not have another one. 130 come down, put some more damage counters on the Malimar. Okay, on our turn. Oh, goodness. We top deck it. All right, so put down the Zero Aura. We'll go Lightning, Energy Switch from here to here. Thunder Mountain, Retreat, Plasma Fist. There we go. Good. The double zero ore seems very good right now. Okay, but um, the, the question of the day, Josh, is how do we handle good old uh, Espeon Deoxys, right? I mean, how... I, I don't even know how much... It is 100, right? You can put 100 on the field. And he doesn't have 100. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so he can't copy... It only does 160, so it doesn't knock us out immediately. So that's a good thing for us. There's a... Okay, oh, well, I want to see what that card does, Jeff. Can you please show me what this card does? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not going to be good. Okay. All right. Oh, man. We need so many cards next turn to, like, to paralyze this guy to even have a chance. I'm just going to be honest with you. Okay. So, if we hit... I have a game plan. If we hit... Uh... Yeah. Oh, man. That's terrible. That's not what we want to see. Uh, oh, we don't even have the other custom. The other custom was already played. Terrible. Terrible. Couldn't even do the play I wanted to do. All right, he has got this, I'm pretty sure. Um, Yeah, he's going to put 200 damage counters on the field next turn. I'm like 100% sure he can do that. <clears throat> you know, we'll go for this. Uh, Energy. Okay, so let's go this. Let's go for your treat to here. Lightning. <laughs> energy switch. From here to here. Right? And then we go... Tingler turn GX for 50. And then we got to now deal with this guy. I don't know. We'll come to it when it comes to it. So 50. Goes back at your hand. We'll sit in this guy. I'll turn our opponent's turn. 
Go down one price card. <clears throat> Lysander Labs coming down. Not really useful. Mew coming out. Let's see what happens here. I mean, he can put two. He can put two hundred in the field. That's that's the problem here. This guy's fifty HP left. This guy's thirty HP left. This guy's one hundred twenty HP left. He can take a ton of price cards. He can actually do one twenty, uh, one seventy. He can actually take three, four, five, six, seven. He can take seven price cards this turn. He can take seven price cards. Seven price cards incoming. Yep. I mean that that's probably the best thing we. Yeah. 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 You can put knockout, knockout, knockout. You can take seven price cards this game. All right. <laughs> Man. All right, but still, we got down to one prize card. Oh, my goodness. Even then, like, eh, he probably could have just, like, you know. Cute. Oh, never mind. I was, I, was 10, I was 10 damage off. Well, still. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, I'll go first. Uh-huh. All right, so we saw the Deox coming out. We can see how strong that is. Man, I just can't believe we missed the uh, turn one knockout on it. Okay, that would, that, that would, I don't know, just swung the game. If we would have hit a turn one knockout, we would have got it. All right, so here we go. Game number three. Game number one. Start with the game number three. Very nice for the Gauntlet Challenge. So we'll call heads like always, and uh, we won the coin flip. Well, we're going first regardless, which is good. <coughs> It gives us time to set up. You really can't hurt us any. And, uh, okay. Well, <laughs> we'll put Topical in the active. Okay. That uh, seems, you know, bad, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Let's see here. Jirachi. So, lightning. Day day change. Yep. Discarding the goods. Zara Aura. Communication. This. Do we go. Huh. We could go the Dawn Wings. And. All of our Raichu and Raichus are prized. Not Raichu, Raichus. Our Pikachu Zekrons are prized. Seems terrible. Anyways, we can go Dawn Wings. Right? Go Dawn Wings. Get that get that already out of the deck. We'll go Acrobike. Okay, that's two cards I don't want to see. Acrobike. Electromagnetic radar. We'll put that down. And then you know what's press done right now. Yeah we could order pad for fidget spinner. No, let's just press done. No reason to go crazy. My, my game plan is to evasion, dance the agents, one here, one here, a, energy switch, attach, and then find another energy switch or something next turn. Um, it's not the most ideal. We also could maybe attack with the Zero or That seemed pretty good last game. Um, there's NK, okay. Yeah, we don't go electric. I can't believe we didn't find it. I mean, I, I can. Like, it's not crazy, right? There's a Lily for five. Okay. Still a wishing. Let's see. If you, if you think if he had a uh, a mysterious treasure, you played that before the Stella wish. Okay. Communication. And also get in our deck down. We can like electromagnetic for something and just discard it or something like that. Oh, he has nothing. All right, cool. So go for the electromagnetic radar. Discard one and two. You know, let's just grab one Dedini. The other one could be very useful. So grab Dedini. We'll go for Day Day Change. Yep, sounds good. <clears throat> All right, so we got the Invasion. Yep. Got the Energy Switch from here to there. Go dance to the agents. Put one here, one here. Okay. And we can attack with Zara Aura right now. So we can retreat. So we can go attach. 
Um, retreat. Tax switch to here. Lily for four. Um, we could no. We're, we're, we'll we'll we'll, sh we'll take advantage of this and we'll go for the plasma fist for 160. Taking a knockout. We got the evasion retreat every single turn. So we got on the five price cards. Seems really nice. Picarom coming down. Um, if we could somehow power that Picarom this turn, that would be insane. Psychic to the active. Uh, if Jeff doesn't have anything, it could be a quick game three. All right, so get the Cynthia, get the new hand of six. Um, we can also just double custom <clears throat> whoever we want to off the bench to the active. Um, get around the spell tag. They receive communication. We also can, like, life center labs and knock out the spell tag. That's not a bad thing as well. There's another Jirachi. So if he does retreat to Jirachi, we'll definitely go for the double custom. Life center labs, knock out the NK play, and kind of just shut him down. There's an Espeon Deoxys coming down as well. Um, there is a... Malamar, can we knock out this guy? 260. That seems. <sighs> oh, it seems unplausible right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I definitely think we go. Maybe, oh my goodness. Um, da, 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 da. There's so many options, right? We can. I think the, the option is definitely like knock out the Malamar with the Lysander Labs, shut that down as ASAP, right? So let's go ahead and double, let's, go, let's just go ahead and do that. Double custom, bring up this guy. Lysander Labs. This guy can do 160 and paralyze, or we can go Picarom and go about it that way. So go um, this, this, Lily for four. Okay. Well, an evasion, retreat, plasma fist. There we go. So we got four prize cards. All right, there we go. So Jeff is not having a, uh, what we call a hot game right now, huh? Okay, so here comes Jirachi. I mean, the plan is trying to tag bolt this guy, but we can't do any more because all of our uh, things are gone. But if Jeff does, Jeff is looks like he is trying to power up this guy and maybe go for like a psychic club or something. Um, either way, we are, <laughs> we're gonna have multiple turns to swing before he can even attack us. So that is gonna be really nice. We get energy spinner. We can play like really safe right now and just like take our time. There's really no need to go like super crazy right now and just like build up a bunch of energies on our uh, Picaroms and stuff like that. So we see another NK coming down. We will go down to three. If we can load this guy up and he sends up this, we can just hit like double um, electric power, knock it out. There's a Mew, Stellar Wish. I don't really care about the Mew right now um, because this guy's on board, right? This guy is definitely in his way, and especially with this. So now to attack with Giratina, he has to like manually attach every single turn, right? Uh, so we do see the Viridian Forest probably, oh, it's actually not going to put it down. Okay. So we'll go l Lightning here. We'll go Electromagnetic just to thin our deck. Go ahead and grab a Dedini and a Zero Aura. Like I said, we have the double Electromagnetic in there, so that's really nice. Um... We'll go, I'm trying to thin everything out of my hand if he does decide to reset snap us eventually. Right, so go there, just thin the deck down. We'll go energy spinner as well. Anything that can like, that is not useful as a, after a, re, after a reset stamp. Uh, thank you in format for giving me a pair for this. So Russian, retreat, plasma fist, <coughs> knockout, 160. Going down to three, I mean, what's his option? Does he send it the, the Deoxys? Seems terrible, right? 260, very easy. It could be easily done with Tag Bolt, right? And that is what we see. It looks like what's happening right now. Pros to Deoxys, the Tag Team. I mean, we've got Tag Bolt GX. We got. We already have one Electric Power in hand. We've got Dedini and a Cynthia, and a Cynthia, and an Acrobike. So it's not looking good for Jeff if he does. It's not looking good for Jeff if he does keep this Tag Team or this Deoxys, Espeon Deoxys in the hand, right? So, Mysterious Treasure just carded the Giratina for Malamar. Okay. And he also could just retreat. Um, it has two energies on already. So, he finds himself like a Giratina. Or, uh, if he gets a Giratina loaded up, he could go about it that way. But, man, if he goes for the Psychic Club, it is not look. Oh, my goodness. Is he really going for the Psychic Club here? There's a Mimikyu coming down. I'd actually, like, even rather see the Mimikyu. Like, he could have... He could have... You know, psychic recharged. I mean, we'll see. He does. He could have a second Malamar. 
He could go for Filch as well. Anything but this guy. Don't keep this guy in the active, Jeff. Don't keep him in the active. That's all I gotta say. Don't do that. All right, okay. There's a distortion door coming down. Okay, I'm fine with that play. <laughs> Just as long as you uh, don't keep that Deoxys in the active spot. Oh my goodness. Well, that could be game. All right, it's tag team, right? Yeah, it's tag team. It's tag team. Okay, so we'll go Acrobike. Order pad. As, as Andrew Mahone once said, order up. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so here's the issue, right? You know what? In the words of wise man, YOLO. Cynthia. Okay. And we got it. And, <laughs> yeah, we got this one. We got this one. We can retreat into the Picaram and go for the Tag Bowl GX. 290 damage. Take a three price cards. Yeah, so this is one of the downsides of Giratina. Like, you could just, like, have bad hands and just lose pretty easily while you're playing against this really fast Picaram deck. But, guys, there we go. There's day number one. Uh, Jeff loses his first deck, which is Giratina, uh, Malamar, and we'll, of course, keep our Picaram. But, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. You kind of saw the battle of Picaram versus. Malamar in the end, it looks like Pikaram is just a lot faster, and that's what definitely did it. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Alrighty.